guys doing? It's your girl Noah in the house. So today we're gonna talk about the five different types of cheaters. The types of cheater that will say, hey, um, it was just by accident, I cheated. Um, it was just a one night thing. It just, it's never gonna happen again. That completely makes zero sense. Like, how do you cheat by accident? Like, how does someone's penis just slides into you by accident? That type of thing, I don't tolerate to be honest because there is no way you can cheat just by accident okay how the hell do you take off your pants by accident how you want me to slap you by accident that's what you want me to do then i will do that and most people's favorite excuse is oh i was mad at you and uh i was high like what type of high is you on because we don't turn you into a hoe for an hour you on some type of crack to me, honestly, that's bullshit. I'm not gonna take shit from nobody. You're not gonna tell me you cheated by accident because there is no cheating accident, okay? So that's number one. The cheater that lies about their location. All right, they say they at the salon, but really they at a nigga crib getting their shit pulled and fucked. And he probably say he playing ball when really he's at a girl crib dicking her down. They change their contact name. So let's say it's a girl's name, they'll put a guy's name. You'll see John calling girl when you pick up is Melissa, okay? So, y'all better be careful. Those kind of cheaters are there, and you better watch out. Because you're picking up your phone thinking it's John girl, and you hear Melissa's voice. What are you going to do? Like, I don't understand. Why don't y'all just tell the truth? Like, I had this one ex. She had told me she wanted to go to her friend's house to stay the night. So, I said, that's cool, babe. Oh, go and have fun. So, the next morning, I got a call from one of my friends. And he was like, yo, bro. I was like, what's up with you? He told me. He was like, yeah, uh, I seen so-and-so at this party last night. And... Yo, she was throwing it bad. Then not knowing, she called my phone up and she was like, oh, hey, babe, I had so much fun. And I'm like, so much fun where? At the party? Don't lie about your location. Um, oh, I just cheated because, you know, she cheated on me or she keep accusing me of cheating. How the hell? If you forgive her for cheating on you and you go cheat just because she cheated, that's bullshit. That means you didn't forgive her and you're looking for a reason to go cheat, right? Exactly. So don't come up with that bullshit about, oh, she cheated, oh, she keep accusing me of cheating. I don't give a shit how much time I accuse you. Maybe there's a reason I accuse you, but don't go cheat on me just because I accuse you. No, girl, don't let that happen. Now, if you have ever been cheated on or know somebody that has ever been cheated on, then you should know this type of cheater. The one that deletes every single thing out their phone. More than likely, before they get around you, they delete Twitter messages, Facebook messages, Instagram messages, phone text messages. The reason because they know they got something to hide and they're completely full of shit. Cheater number five is the one that sweet talks. These people knows how to fuck with your mind, okay? Let me tell you this. They will tell you that everything that you want to hear. Oh, you're beautiful. You're the best thing ever happened to me. They'll massage you and do all this kind of shit. But at the end of the day, they're full of shit. You guys just be careful. You know what I mean? Take your time to know somebody. But cheaters, like they're saying, cheaters are always going to be cheaters. So I hope you guys enjoy this little video. I will see you guys soon. And if there's any question, you know, just message me below. Okay, love you. Bye.